focus on here, and I'll detail it, is the fact that right now, today, President Trump is maintaining three of the hugest wrong judgments and wrong decisions, which unless he opens his eyes and reverses his wrong judgments, that President Trump will impact untold millions of Americans and he'll impact Israel and himself in the worst possible ways. Now, the first one is the monstrous mistake on President Trump's part in his publicly expressed attitude towards the Pope of Rome. In fact, to be specific, right after Trump met the Pope at the Vatican, the whole world heard Trump say, quote, meeting the Pope was an honor of a lifetime. End quote. Now, unless President Trump reverses this naive attitude of viewing the Pope as a great man, then Trump will be helping to lead untold millions of Americans and persons around the world right into the very deceptions and clutches of Antichrist himself, being the Pope of Rome. And President Trump will also be misleading people worldwide towards receiving the mark of the beast, which Revelation clearly states will be forced on all people by the false prophet, being one and the same as Antichrist. Both terms, false prophet and Antichrist, being synonymous and being the Pope of Rome. And so this is the most crucial Bible prophecy for Trump to quickly figure out and to discern accurately as to the true role of the Pope of Rome. Keep in mind that Revelation chapter 13, verse 18, Revelation 13, 18, specifically states that it is God's wisdom to accurately identify the false prophet as being the Pope of Rome, and as I stated, being in fact Antichrist himself. Now here's the second huge and critical error in judgment, which President Trump must immediately reverse it's, uh, it, it's harmful towards Israel, which is Trump's continual trusting in Vladimir Putin and Russia. And it's a clear public fact that Trump shows at least some degree of trust towards Putin, which, as I said, is another monstrous bad judgment. This is because, in reality, Russia is the end-time king of the north, as foretold in Ezekiel chapter 38, verses 15 and 16, which Russia, right now, this moment, is poised to attack Israel, precisely as foretold 2,600 years ago by Ezekiel. It's in plain view today as I speak. In fact, Russia and Turkey and Iran, all three are right now in Syria, building up their military forces just minutes from Israel's mountains, exactly as the prophecies state for all three of these countries in today's end times. So in effect, President Trump's trusting in Putin to keep the peace in the Mideast region, and Trump is virtually helping to facilitate Russia's nearing attack on the Holy Land of Israel. That's a horrific bad judgment to be responsible for when Trump stands before God, having helped facilitate the most evil effort ever to wipe Israel out of existence. Now here's a third colossal error Trump is making, which is a personal mistake on his part, for him personally, being his outright refusal to repent before God and refusal to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as his personal Savior and Lord, which is proven that he is not, since his unchristlike character and, and vulgar speech and self-exalting attitude and arrogance, off the charts arrogance, all of that completely fail altogether the New Testament's criteria for a true Christian who has become a true new creation in Christ. Plus, there's still no record I've seen or heard that 
President Trump has yet to ask God for forgiveness, since Trump admitted specifically that he had not when asked directly in 2016 if he had ever asked God for forgiveness. He said no. So this is the most dangerous place to be personally for anyone to know that you need to accept the Lord and to know you need salvation in Christ if that person continually says no to the Lord Jesus Christ day after day.